Alright, before anything else, we're gonna physically this back up. Because I don't like him in danger. Safia level? I think that means she's one level from promote. There it is! Alright, she can promote in one level and she just got ace staves. We have ace staves. Good. Good, good, good. This guy's still gonna capture. And this guy I wanna kill. With Lithis, perhaps? Problem is that my hit rate is so awful. I do kill if both hit, but the thing is, they both have to hit. It's worth a shot. Nope. Neither of them hit. That's fine, we still get a level. Thank you, Paragon Sword. Very cool. Magic and defense. Whatever. Halvin can definitely capture this thief. Dactar, I guess I can just shoot this guy. I'll actually kill him if both hit though, I don't want that to happen. I guess we can hand axe him. He will kill him if both of these hit, but I don't think they will, yeah. Or neither of them will. Or he's gonna shoot four times and the first two will miss and the second two will hit. Whatever. As long as I can kill this guy next turn. I think we're just gonna run him this way. Alright, so the ballistas are still a problem. But they're less of a problem. What with the big threat dead. So, we're just gonna Brave Lance this thief. This should work. Easily. <laughs> Good thing. Who's got an inventory? Fergus doesn't for sure. I think Nana does. Yep. Oh, but I don't want her taking these hits. Well, I can transfer Kanto away. Then have Nana take him. And trade with him. Because Rapier and his estuary. Release him. And then Kanto away. <laughs> Enormous brain plays. Alright. I still don't know what's with this one Draco Knight up here with a Silver Lance, but whatever. The squad down here might need some help. I'll send Orson. Asbel, maybe? I'll just get Leaf out here as far as he can go. This chapter goes really slow, and it I, I'm really interested to see what this chapter looks like under LTC, because playing it normally is really annoying. This thing gonna take like seven ballistas. Oh, this one's actually going for Dagdar. Oh, that could be bad. It's not bad, he's fine. <laughs> I think he actually took a crit from that one. Please don't crit. Whew. These ballista I need to die. Is this is there another one? How many of these stupid things are there? Okay, good. Owen's out. Alfred leaves next turn. I guess I'm getting charged now. Whatever. Well, I was gonna kill the Ballista this turn, but I guess that's not happening. Can help him capture this guy easily? Well, I don't know about easily. He actually gets doubled, but it's an Iron Sword that deals four damage. Maybe I'll shoot him. <laughs> we actually have equal HP, so I don't trigger a cost. And he has more AS. So I can just shoot at him. Doesn't kill him. Perfect. Now Halvin can rob him. And he only needs to hit one time. Come on, Halvin. Come on, Halvin. You had one job. Well, I think we're losing this S drink now. Unless I just like trade around to him holding a hand axe. Oh, is it safe here for Lucas? It's not, is it? He's totally in the range of two ballista. And a mage. 
I better heal him. Where's my physics staff? What's what rank is physic? C rank? I think that means Nana can use it. No, she's D staffs. Alright. I could warp. <laughs> or I could not waste the warp staff like that. Completely unnecessarily. Dang it, these these ballista need to die. They're on my nerves. I think it's time to just like start breaking through the walls here. Asbel, what can you do to this guy? Alright, he deals somewhat significant damage, but it's whatever. We're gonna break through with the Cavaliers anyway. Oh, Asbel just straight up gets adept. But misses an 89. I was about to say he gets hit by a 34, but he actually does that one. Cool. What a good unit. Asbel is genuinely, like, ridiculously good. Alright, Fergus, do your armor slaying thing. Just one shot the guy. I'm not worried about him since he's on that defense tile. I guess I can just heal him with Nana. If I put Nana here to heal, is she in range of this ballista? No, she's only in range of one, I think. She can take one hit, right? Yeah, she has four defense. She'll be fine. Please get see staves, Nana. I need more than one physic user, clearly. Nope, okay, that's fine. Hmm. I suppose I could attack this guy and then Kanto into the into hiding. Do I want to use the Brave Lance or do I want to use the Steel Lance? I double with the Steel Lance. Dealing six damage twice and all Brave Lance. I want him to die. I want these guys out of here. He's gonna miss anyway. Yep. Come on, Finn. There you go. Nothing is reliable in this game. N never. There is never reliability. Getting speed and defense. Okay, that was a really good level. No complaints there. I'm still scared to put Selfina anywhere near here just because she has a cost. Probably should have thought of that before bringing her. Ronin is worthless. Orson isn't though. We'll start sending him down. And these, these Ballista, Karen can still do nothing. Alright, I don't know if Lithis survives this turn, but he might. Wow. Forts are broken, man. Is Fergus just gonna murder an army right now? Well, that was a Rider's Bane. He actually survived it, though. Just barely. He did survive it. I'm glad he didn't go for Finn. I think Finn died. Oh, dang. If the Ballista went for Asbel, that would be really bad. So they're gonna hit Leaf with a 17. I feel like defense stats are just really low in this game in general. Like, as strong as Leaf is, he only has 8 defense. I feel like that's low. Oh, Lithus dodging a Ballista is actually really important. Lithus dodging... Oh, this is Ronan. I'm really scared that I'm just gonna get crit by another Ballista at some random point and I can't do anything about it. Yep, Nana does survive this with one HP. But she's fine. Even gets a level out of it. With skill, luck, and defense. Well, one of those stats is used, some used for something. But this is fine. He might actually get a level from dodging. Now this guy goes for Halvin. Dang it, my awesome strategy of... I actually didn't equip or use the Wrath Manual this time. I forgot to do that. Alright, Alfred's out of here. Cool. He's seriously gonna... Okay, missed. Good. Oh, this guy wasn't stupid enough to attack me. Even better. Okay, I basically have two options. I can try to fight through these guys to attack him from the side with like 
No, I'm just gonna straight up try to capture him. Come on, one of these has got a hit, right? 257s? Come on. Halvin. Why are you so bad? He's not bad. He has eight moves, but I'm frustrated with him. Okay, we're just gonna not change anything this turn down there then. As for these jerks. I think I can kill all of them this turn. If I play my cards right. I think a leaf can kill a bow armor with the rapier. Oh, for sure. Yeah, if all goes well, I'm gonna break down a ballista. Oh, I'm definitely breaking the ballista now. Asbel can fire to him this guy. Can he kill anyone with fire? Because it only has one use. Maybe not. We'll just switch to wind, not graph caliber. Wind. This is fine. This chapter is long. Well, I think we're almost there. It looks like there's a lot of enemies left, but once the ballista die, it's going to be a really quick charge to the finish. Selfina, I'm still not going to bring it. I can rather spam one of these guys. Is this bow worth? No, it's a long bow. Just rider spam this guy to avoid using the brave lands. Easy kill. Oh, that was a crit. <laughs> Leaf can kill the horse? Nah, he'll kill the armor. That bliss is dying. I can get Nana in here. To kill the other horse? Maybe? Maybe I'll just let him live. So I can kill this guy. I think I can just use the short sword, right? I don't want to risk him living though. We're gonna killing edge this guy. <laughs> Please crit, Fergus. There we go. Yeah, you deserve to die. Stupid Ballista. Annoying as heck. It's an armor slayer? Yeah, whatever. Wait, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, she can move back a little bit. Four. Perfect. Armor Slayer. Imagine bringing Dels into this chapter. That could actually be a viable strategy. Who knows? Dels is just so bad. He can't hit anything and he can't move. Cool. She's gonna be safe there. Ronan needs to get out of here though. I'm just gonna vulnerary just in case. It's funny that I just have Safia back here spamming Physic, but it's working. I think Dagdar needs healing the most. I was about to say, the enemy missed their physics staff, so I'm waiting for mine to miss, but so far it hasn't happened. Karen still can't do anything, but Orson can. I haven't visited this village. Here you go, Brighton. <laughs> Don't tell me you're the Liberation Army, right? Well, have I got a surprise for you. See, I fancy myself a botanist, and a few months ago I started an experiment. I wanted to see what would happen if I watered a tree using only pure water. I won't keep you in suspense. This here staff is what resulted from the whole thing. Use it, and it'll fortify your magic. Same as if you just gulped down pure water yourself. Hm. Where's the rest of the tree, you ask? Uh, you're looking at it. That staff was the whole tree. <laughs> Poor thing never grew bigger than three feet tall. <laughs> it turns out pure water actually isn't very good for plants. Yeah, I probably should have checked that before I spent months on the whole experiment. <laughs> the Insorcel. C rank staff gives plus seven to magic. Okay, that's actually really cool stuff. I like that. I guess Lithis can just dodge for another turn. Probably get a level out of it. Oh, that thief's just straight up running. It's gonna miss. Yep. <laughs> I'm not worried. Please miss, please miss, please miss. Nana can actually die, theoretically. So can Leaf. Theoretically, but the chance is so low. I hate this chapter. I really don't like this chapter. Alright, this guy's going for Lithus. He's gonna miss. Tons of experience. This is a good process. 
also with us. That one actually hits. Tons of experience. <laughs> Poof. Also going for Lithus. We're fine. Alright, show me Khan this time. He's at a 20% con growth now because of that scroll. That's defense. Not what I'm looking for, my man. Lithus could very easily have died there. I mean, he didn't, but he could have. It is possible. So many misses. Oh, I forgot about the bolting guy. But he's gonna physic instead. Cool. I gotta get rid of him. I forgot about the Draco Knight, for that matter. Silver Lance. That actually hurts a lot. I mean, he's gonna die, but... Okay. First things first. Asbel, heal Finn. Because he is in Ballista two shot range. Perfect. And then Nana might actually be able to kill the Draco Knight. Let's see. Earth Sword, she doesn't double though. I think it's better that I have her heal. Because we're about to take a bolting next turn. Well, with the Physic guy having no more allies to heal. Maybe he can heal in the south, who knows. Get Leaf up to full. Can, is the Rapier super effective on dragons? No, it's not. Okay. In that case, we're gonna lance the guy, I think. 12, twice, kills, yep. I guess the Rapier being good on Armor Knights, Cavaliers, and Dragons would be a bit much. I don't know even why I thought it was. I don't think a Rapier has ever been effective on dragons in this series. Kill him with one hit. 25 and 4. Yeah, he skills. Cool. Using up the last of the rapier. Is Leaf? He's still getting too high of a level. He's only 16, I guess. That's whatever. Armor Slayer just. It's actually not guaranteed to kill this guy because his hit rate's so bad. But I think he's on a fort. He has to be because his defense is 21. There's no way it's naturally that. Yep, for it. Cool. I'll seize that. Huh, <laughs> seize. Okay. Dagdar should be able to kill this soldier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Easy kill. I'm wondering if Lithus can steal that mage's thunder to him. I don't know how heavy thunder is. Waste five. He actually can. Just gotta get him up there. Which is very doable. Good job, Halvin. That was a javelin I probably could have stolen, but whatever. Let's get him some strength. Maybe he'll get move a third time, you know? No? Okay. Ballista actually can't attack directly next to them, so I think this is perfectly safe. good. I might physic him just in case, but how many more bolts do these guys even have? Oh, they actually have a lot. Six. Six. Four. Okay. Alright, well, Safia, do your thing. It's her last physic, but make it a good one. I'm thinking I'll promote Safia next chapter. So she can actually start contributing something. She's almost there. Well, Selfina and Karen and Ronan have done a whole lot of nothing this chapter, but the ballistas are just way too powerful. That guy's gonna escape with my S drink. Maybe Fergus can catch up to him. Good job, Leaf. He only gets five experience from these guys now, as opposed to Lucas is like twenty. Granted, Paragon Sword is Paragon Sword. That's not even 20 at this point. He was getting 20, he's not anymore. Yeah, I don't think there's any more danger this chapter. Unless one of the Ballista happens to critical me, I'm pretty sure this is a locked-in win. So let's not have that happen now that I've said that. 
Is he only doing one damage? Wow. Okay, Fergus can intercept that guy. For sure. Right? He can't escape. No, because there's too much forest. Fergus is going to intercept. Good. Haswell can go up here. Who do I want to capture this jerk? I guess Finn can. I don't know who to kill this ballista with. I guess we'll have Lithus Paragon sword. Paragon? Paragon. <laughs> Darn it. He's still gonna get a level. And it's gonna be a build level. Still no. Come on, man. He's level 14 now. Alright. I think Hicks can adequately deal with this man. Yes, he does double. Just barely, but he does double. With his 4 AS. He doesn't kill, actually. Good. Orson can capture him. For Dagdar. I think Orson has a much better chance. This is highest hit. Highest hit's the Pogi. Yeah, we'll just use 77 hit to get a Javelin. I can justify using the Pogi once to get a Javelin for free. Oh shoot, I actually expected this guy to be dead this turn. I think he will be. We double and we trigger a cost, so... Hopefully he can hit enough times. Well, he has to hit, what, three times? Yeah. Cool. It's another ballista out of the way. God, I hate these things. And that means... Karen can move a little closer. <laughs> Selfina as well. Where's this guy's range end? Oh no, it's right here. Uh, Nana, I'm scared to put in there. Halvin, however. Ooh, can we? I mean, there's a small chance he dies. We could always critical. No. Well, Halvin kills him soon. Next turn, maybe. Everything is going okay. That guy's gonna get captured. This ballista is not gonna be able to kill me. It's not even gonna hit me because he's bad. Who's this guy going for? Lithus. Doesn't kill. That's fine. He needs to die next turn though, or Lithus is in danger. Bolting is going to deal. 15 damage. So 14 damage. Okay. Leaf gets a level very soon. That's cool. And that mage is going to run into the forest to make it even harder to kill him with Paragon. Okay. What's this guy? This guy has 24 crit? No. Not okay, man. Not okay at all. Can I just fire to him? So I don't kill him, but I don't leave him with much HP either. Because I need to capture him next turn. I can't risk that. Oh. Oh. Why did it double? It only had one use left. <laughs> I guess it can do that in this game. That's fine. I'm happy to get the bolting out of the way. He gets magic, skill, speed, defense. The speed still doesn't matter because he has it capped. <laughs> I don't know how to kill this guy, actually. I'd have to send someone all the way around here. And that's just not gonna happen. I think he's just gonna live. Fergus can capture this guy with the Brave Sword, right? On the Killing Edge? No, Killing Edge doesn't double. Brave Sword does. And the chances of capturing him are quite high. I think I can block in front of him if I failed this, but I didn't. So that's an Iron Sword of Lockpick and an S Drink, I believe is quite good. So this guy, I have to kill. Or Lithus dies. I think Lithus has a vulnerary I could also use, but I want him to attack. Come on, Halvin. Come on, Halvin. There you go. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Which means he is not in any danger attacking this mage. So let's Paragon Sword the man. 
I just want to see how much a kill is going to get him with Paragon. An enormous amount. And at this point, I think we just move for the boss. I'm going to take this guy's javelin. The only ballista I have to worry about Karen not getting in range of is this guy. Though at this point, I don't see what the point in moving her is because, like, her entire purpose is, is null. It's served. <laughs> I can't actually... That's annoying. I can't promote Safi if I don't get someone to her to heal. It's Ronan. I used a Mulder already, didn't I? I think I'll have to send somebody this way so Safi can heal them. It's not going to be Leaf, though. He has to seize. Who's taking damage? Alvin, I guess? That's a long way for him to walk, though. Oh well. We'll see how this goes. Oh, shut up, Ballista. You're just annoying at this point. Your threat factor is gone when there's only one of you. And you only have- oh, he only has one more shot? Shoot, okay. I'll just move Safia after this turn, because I doubt I'll be done with the chapter this soon. What's this guy got? Oh, I don't have enough inventory. Karen might. I can at least do this. Wait. Okay. Complicated. Trading. Stamina Drink and Thunder goes here. Then I trade. For the other two. And I can keep those. That works. Release this guy. See, this boss has a Master Seal I want. And I'm going to take. It's not just that I want it, it's I'm going to have it. What level is Orson at? Nine? He's actually very close to promotion, too. I can promote him and Safia. Next chapter? Or Lithis needs to promote at some point, too. Fergus is already promoted. I don't know why I'm checking him. Where's Halvin at? He's also close, but he's not close enough to promote next chapter. Alright, we'll just wait another turn, and then we'll get Safia over here. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. The very last Ballista shot. <laughs> it had seven hits, so his odds weren't great. Is that it? Just making sure there's no more? Yep, alright. Let's get on and move on. On, on the last ten experience for her. Okay. So first things first. I actually need someone to take something from my inventory. Dag Dark, yep. Yep, that works. Give him that. Cool. We need to steal the Master Seal. Then, we need to get the heck out of Dodge. Drop with this off, that's fine. Then, we can kill this guy. So, first I think we'll just shoot at him with Asbel. This might just straight up kill him. What's the meaning of this? Why do you trespass on our rightful land? Sorry, Largo. Asbel's just gonna murder him. Wow. Slightly disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. And he actually gets a whole level out of that? Dang. He's promoted. Wow, speed. That's it, and that does nothing. I'm actually gonna wait to see this, though. Let's see, first, I need to actually use the Wrath Manual on Halvin, because I forgot this entire chapter to do that. Got Wrath, cool. Then I want to get Safia. I might actually just go ahead and promote her. I don't know if that's dumb. I don't know if that's actually a terrible move or not, but... I feel like having her promoted could be quite useful. He's got the... Oh, uh, Lithus obviously has it. Hmm. I don't know, that'd be cool, right? She can heal him. I don't know who- so the only people I have left to promote are Safia, Lithis, Orson, and Halvin, I think. Because I don't think I'm going to use Brighton long term. 
Nor am I going to use Karen. I don't think I can even get her enough experience to promote at this point. What, she only... Oh, she's actually level 7. Hmm. But I would like... Zapia promoting. I'm going to do it. Oh, well. Can't really do much. Maybe I'll send Lithis up. You know what? There is there is no problem with wasting turns. What turn is it? Status 17. I should check and make sure there's no guide in chapter for turn count. I'm gonna go do that really quick. Okay, yeah, there's no guide in chapter for turn count. So I'm just gonna spend a few turns and get Lithis to run up to the top and kill that ballista and get some experience from it. We'll probably speed up this part of the video after Safia promotes. Like this. What a good unit. Plus three magic, plus one skill, plus one speed, plus one defense. That actually was kind of lame promotional gains. But does she have access to, yeah, light magic now. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if that was worth it. All right, I'm probably gonna speed up this part. We'll just have with this get up and k kill this guy, so I'll be right back. Okay, and with that, we can seize the chapter. Augustus, did you see the mage knight that fled midway through the battle? Indeed, a woman knight at that. She was a most difficult adversary. Who was she? <laughs> Who was she? I didn't recognize her, but this little doubt she rode for Fort Dandrum to bring word to our of our incursion, so the enemy will know we're coming. Just so, and Fort Dundrum is no common encampment. It's regarded as impregnable, even a permanent fixture of the region. Combine that with the advance warning we've given them, and they'll have plenty of time to shore up their defenses even further. The fort's commander is surely no slouch. He's certain to make the most of the extra time to prepare. Indeed, I fear we'll have a most difficult time seizing the fort. I see. Still, there's no other route that would allow us to cross the mountains. This seems to be the hand we've been dealt, my prince. If we're to arrive at Tara in time to act, we must take Fort Dandrum, or Dundrum. Then there's little point in standing around and complaining about it. The longer we wait, the stronger the fort's defenses will be. This is our only chance, and we'll make the most of it. Alright, that was Chapter 10, Noel Valley. Really annoying, and way too many ballistae, but... We made it through. Up next, Chapter 11, Fort Dundrum. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did. That would be lovely, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.